Azrat Hackfrass versus Bobby Green. Big, bad Bobby Green fight week. There's nothing like it, Dan. Three and two in his last five. But in my opinion, I, I, I don't go on a lot of rants, but I, I think every time Bobby Green's name is brought up, I like to go on a little rant for my guy. Um, three and two in his last five. But in my opinion, he's on a six-fight winning streak, and I don't care. Um, no one can tell me any different. He beat Fazayev and he beat Moises. Uh, those, he lost technically to the judges, but watch those fights. It's If you have more than two brain cells in your brain, you'll tell me that Bobby Green won both of those fights. And like I've said before, uh, blind bankers don't get robbed as much as Mean Green, Bobby Green, who, um, I, I don't know. The judges just don't like him. Two terrible robberies, and you can just blame that. Guess who was the judge on both of those fights, Dan? Sal D'Amato, the worst judge possibly of all time. I saw a tweet this weekend that it said um, Sal D'Amato is the judges to um, Steve Mazzagatti. Like, I don't know what the wording was, but they compared Steve Mazzagatti to Sal D'Amato. Um, what's it called? Get closer. He was the one that had uh, Sean, Sean Strickland losing, right? Yes. Yes, you are correct. Yeah. You are correct. He is. A Yo, that was so bad because I was like – I was kind of pissed because the fight wasn't the best. It was fun. Um, yeah, but Sean, it, Sean just kind of jabbed. Yeah, it wasn't competitive. He just, like, jabbed his way to, like, a technical victory. And, like, I kind of wanted to see him, like, you know, walk him down. But, yeah, either way, I was kind of pissed. So I was like, fuck it. I don't want to hear his interview or anything. The fight's over. He obviously won 50-45. Right. And then I fucking get texts. I'm like, what do you, like... Did you hear that? Or, like, I get the notifications that, like, somebody had fucking um, Hermanson winning, and I was like, what the fuck? It, it, it was impossible Whoa. to see that. At that point, like, I don't you gotta know think that this person just he gave one, three, and five to, to Jack. Right, but you gotta think that this person, Sal D'Amato, just doesn't like these people, and that's how he's scoring it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Get off the phone. He, he's 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 the he's the worst judge I've ever fucking seen. Yeah, seriously. But I'm I'm gonna get back into this. Bobby Green aged like a fine wine. His striking's elite. He's got a plus two striking differential, fifty one percent accuracy, also one point five takedowns per fight, seventy two percent takedown defense, outstanding cardio, tough as nails. Um, the only person he was stopped one time while he was in the UFC, and that person was Dustin Poirier, like maybe like eight years ago. Um, yeah, that was a long time ago. He's taken on Nasrat Hackfrass, who fought Dan Hooker in his last time out, and we all noticed that before that fight, that that seemed to be too bit of a jump in competition for um, Hackfrass. I can make the case for Hackfrass, kind of, though. Oh, come on. He cut, like, Dan Hooker took the fight to the ground. That means Hackfrass kind of had, had a decent thing going on the feet. Uh, I, I don't know. I, the fight looked one-sided to me. Um, yeah, I mean, Dan Hooker ended up taking him down and shit, but, like, after the fight, Hackfrass was like, I thought we were standing for three rounds, you know? like It's not boxing. Hackfrass should have known that. Um, that's fast. He, yeah, but like you said, he's also got, he's got some good striking. He's got a plus 1.7 striking differential, 46% accuracy, 78% takedown defense. Also good cardio. I see this fight going the distance. Both guys are too tough, but Bobby Green just has the edge. Um, I'm going with Mean Lean Bobby Green in this one, man. Yeah, I, I'm at the end of the day. I'm gonna take him too. I love Bobby Green, um, and I don't think he's gonna be getting fucked over as much. He definitely. Are you counting the physique fight as a robbery? Yeah, for sure. See, like I, I can't, I can't really count that as a robbery. Oh, personally. dude, I don't. I would love to hear your uh, reasoning for that. I mean, I need. I probably. I don't know. I mean, he I remember back. watching it. I was like, this could go either. I, I honestly thought it could go either way. That's why I've never really had a problem with that fight. I mean, Bobby say, but... struck him all three rounds. Just, I don't, I don't think watching it. I, I don't think it's close. Honestly, I don't, I don't see it. I, I like watched it back though. Like I, I, I see, I see why Bobby Green probably should have won, but. At the end sure. of the day, because he did crack him with some pretty big shots. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, either way, going into uh, 
Bobby Green. He hasn't he hasn't finished somebody in a long time up until his last fight against Ally Quinta. Yeah, he he's just, a decision machine like Arlovsky. Yeah, but like he's not a boring fighter at all. No, no, not he's at all. He's fun to watch. Oh yeah, I love. Him. Um, he just leaves it. He throws. He has his hands down and just you know leaves his head wide open and just fast. You fu- You know he he fast. he's a fucking beast. Um and Hack Press, I honestly think is a pretty dope striker himself. And he's he he's way younger. He's almost ten years younger. Yeah. Um but I saw glimpses of him that looked really good in his last fight against Dan Hooker. And he was besides the Drew Dober fight, he he was looking pretty great in the UFC. So uh right. he has a games. bright future. Yeah, he really does have a bright future. Um was he? He's lost two fights kind of recently, and that's the Drew Dober fight and the Dan Hooker fight. And yeah, he's I don't, 26 I don't years think he old, about that. And he's fighting Dan Hooker, who's just a well established, like, yeah, badass. Um, but I think Bobby Green's gonna just be a little too much on the feet. I think he's just gonna be able to slip a little bit and just, I think he, he's just gonna land a little bit more. I think this fight's gonna be. Fully on the feet. For, yeah, this has fight yeah. of the night. You can see Bobby Green, if anything, taking the fight to the ground because he saw how Dan Hooker made it look last fight. True. And Dan Hooker does have a decent. His wrestling game is bad at all. But this this is fight of the night. I'm, I think I'm predicting it right now. I see this as fight of the night. I know Izzy Bobby. Unless the main event. Unless the main event's great. Right. It, that's the second closest. These two fight. Those two fights can be great performances by all four guys. All right, we're going to agree. We're both going to go with Mean Green Bobby Green.